I was going through some hard times in my own life. Felt like I wasn't in the position to do anything. Um, struggled with suicidal thoughts and, and struggling with different different areas of my life. Different people saying that oh, you're gonna lead and you'll be a music ministry. But I knew that, that God was calling me. I started seeing the people that I was seeing in my dreams. The group finally got bigger and bigger until we got to where we are today. can do something to change someone's life or many lives I will do it because he's mandated all of us to to um, to, to win the lost souls and we can only do that through ministry through serving obedience and consistency in Christ can take you so far and I felt like this was a way for me to to just walk in his will the will that he wanted for me everybody needs Jesus and so it's all about you know making him famous to the point where people will recognize him as, as Lord and Savior it's about Bringing glory to God through all all that He is allowing to do, all that He sees it fit for you to do. That's why I'm in ministry because of the love of Christ who persuaded me to minister to others. As a Christian, we go through a lot more because of the pressures of the world. Jesus means that one experience with God, you have to feel His love and encounter His love, and it will change your life. Holy Ghost. Did you feel Oh. When Matthew asked me to become a uh, part of the ministry, I was like, yeah, sure, no problem, whatever. But he said, you know, you can be an intercessor. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I remember a few years ago when I met with Matthew, and he actually sat down with me, and he shared a vision with me. He said he heard this voice singing, and he loved it. I didn't even know it was me. I personally don't recall this happening, but <laughs> he says he heard me singing it all, that, you know, he, he really loved my voice. I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> I thought he was crazy. In my flesh and in my mind, I thought he was crazy. But when a lot of great people do have a vision, a lot of the first people to hear it think that, like, whoa, it's beyond our comprehension. Like, honestly, I never felt so much love and so much encouragement in my life. People who are motivating you, people who are praying with you, it definitely gives you an example to look up to. It definitely motivates you to be better. It helps you to kind of stay on the path that you're on with God. They are the closest people in my life. They're not just people that I sing with. They're my beloved, and I'm grateful. I notice that they're unlike any other group. Um, it's not just about just coming together and singing a bunch of songs. Transitioning from someone that was just playing off the side, to someone that's now like in that group, in that like as a member, they're like part of the family. So I think, and I know that sounds corny, but that's basically what it is. The Lord opened up a way for me to express myself, and it was through writing. And you know, we sat down one night at my house with a few of us that were on the ministry, and. I just sang two songs that I wrote, and I didn't really think much of it. It's changed my life, literally. It's not even a joke. Um, Lord knows where I would be if I wasn't on Life Ministries. You know, every single time I minister with Life, I'm always bursting out my shell. It made me go in my word. It made me read, um, read and actually find out who God is to me. The ministry has helped me in terms of my desire to pray. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's all about God, and so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to be different. Love God with all your heart. Get to know God before you're doing it first, because if you don't know God, it'll become evident, and you'll sink and drown. God actually, one of the things He said was that He wanted to use me to stir the gift in them, and to bring them to the place in Him that they're supposed to be. So to really pull the will of God out of their life. We're a hospital for sick people. Honestly, there's a lot of us that have gone through certain things, and. If, if it wasn't for Life Ministry, I probably wouldn't be who I am today. You no, know, whatever door God opens, wherever he takes us, we just do it um, with everything we have inside of us. There is no other way but Jesus Christ. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. You know, he is, he's life. And it, he is life, and that's what we want to share with people, that he is life.